Praise the Lord. Can we say praise the Lord? Hallelujah. It is good to be in the presence of our great God. It's a beautiful day. We have a little rain. It's a little cooler. We want to thank God for this opportunity to be in his presence. Praise the name of the Lord. I bring you greetings from the Chakaina family in Chaka Village in the beautiful island of Barbados. And we have our pastor, our Reverend Yarna, David Yarna, our family who is on holiday. And this morning, we come to worship God and to praise God. And we want to stand as we begin. We're going to have a word of prayer. We want to welcome those who are joining us lately on Facebook and YouTube. We want to welcome all our friends this morning. We pray that you will have a beautiful Sunday morning and that you will be blessed with the worship and blessed with the word in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Father, we give you thanks. For great is thy faithfulness, O Lord, unto us. Morning by morning, your mercies we see. All we have needed, thy hands have provided. Great is thy faithfulness. So we say to a faithful God this morning, we thank you. We thank you for this privilege to be in your presence. We thank you to be in the land of the living this morning. We pray this morning, God, that you would bless us where we are at. In the name of Jesus, remember every man, every woman, every boy, every girl, every visitor, and those who are watching, Lord God, via the electronic media. We pray, God, that you will touch them and bless them in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord God, that you will touch and bless the worship team. You have blessed thy servant as he bring your word this morning. You have opened ears to receive your word. Let your word go down into the heart of men and women this morning and bring forth fruit in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bind every principality. We bind every power. We declare your name in this place. We declare, Lord God, your blood. We declare your authority in the name of Jesus. For whatsoever is bound on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatsoever shall be loosed on earth shall be loosed in heaven. And we bind all principalities in the name of Jesus. And we declare your name and your blood in the name of Jesus and the Trinity in this place today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, we bring our sister Anne Marie before you this morning. We pray, God, that you will continue to touch her body. Lord God, I pray that you will bring healing to her body in the name of Jesus. Direct, Lord, the doctors there, God, as they deal with this case. We pray, Lord God, by your stripes, she is healed. And we declare healing in the name of Jesus, not only for her, but for everyone that has any problems and physical problems, that you will touch them and you will raise them up in the name of Jesus. And we will be grateful, Lord God, to give you the thanks and give you the honor and give you the praise. And let the church say, Praise the Lord. Praise the, Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. While we remain standing, we want to turn to our Bibles for this morning's reading. The lesson this morning is taken from St. John chapter 15. We will be reading from verse 12 to the verse 20. Praise the name of the Lord. Reading from the King James Version. Hallelujah. Beginning to read. This is my commandment. That he love one another as I have loved you. Where the love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. He are my friends, and he do whatsoever I command you. Henceforth I call you not servant, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that he should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, 
that whatsoever he shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. These things I command you, that he love one another. Help the world hate you. He know that it hit me before it hit you. If he were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hate you. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my sin, they will keep yours also. Praise the Lord. May God have read this word. And as the word was be shared today, we will be concentrating on verse 16. We have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you shall go and bring forth fruit. The first part of verse 16 will be dealing with. Praise the name of the Lord. At this time, we're going to invite Torah to come and lead us and worship. Led by Sister Nedjie Waldron. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. There's none like our God. He's our keeper. He's our shade upon our right hand. The sun shall not smite by day, nor the moon by night. O oh God, this is the God that can do what no other can. He's the holy triumphant God this morning. He's the God that avoid the midst of our sexual vision. I want to bless his name. Only you are holy.
Shout to 
So, if that comes from us, no way, but it make a way. Where there is no way. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! We don't sing it again. Hallelujah! One more time for the name. Your name. Hallelujah! Praise God. Unlike you, Lord, none that can shoot us the way you do, none that can protect us the way you do, none that can bring us through the fire like you do. Lord, you're that strong tower. Hallelujah.
chapter 3, the three Hebrew boys. But I want to talk a little bit about being chosen. My topic this morning is chosen by God. Hallelujah. Chosen by God. It is said a long time, especially when I first came to church, I used to hear it go like this. That we were in the marketplace on the auction block for sale. After our four parents had failed, and it seemed like no help was coming our way. But Jesus, God sent Jesus, born of a virgin, was crucified, died, was buried, was resurrected. Somebody said he purchased my salvation. Hallelujah. So it was seems that nobody wanted you and I. But I thank God that Jesus <laughs> passed by and he bought us. Hallelujah. He bought us with his blood. And we used to sing an old chorus one time, look what Jesus did. For he washed me and it looked because we had needed a good washing. No detergent could have done it. No subside or breeze could have done it. But the blood of Jesus and the songwriter said, look what Jesus did. For he washed me in his blood. Some of us needed, needed more washing than others. But the point is, all of us needed a good washing in the blood. Hallelujah. And I don't care how old or how deep you were in sin and in bondage. When you come to the blood, you come out clean, clean, clean from head to toe. Praise the name of the Lord. So I want to talk about chosen. We are a chosen generation. Hallelujah. In First Peter. 2 verse 9 and 10 said, But he are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, and a peculiar people. That he should do something, that he should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of sunshine. Oh Jesus, who have called you out of darkness, sin is dark, out of darkness into his marvelous light, which in time past were not a people, oh hallelujah, Jesus. but now we are the people of God, which have obtained mercy. But you now have obtained mercy. You understand what happened here? We were nobody, so nobody would choose us. But Jesus, I may say, God, look beyond all our imperfections, beyond all of our faults and our failures and our shortcomings, and He chose us. Amen. Hallelujah. I love that. Oh God, help us this morning to understand that we were not chosen by the Prime Minister. We were not chosen by any politician. We were not chosen by our representative in our constituency. But we were chosen by God. Hallelujah. Sometimes some people choose you because they have to work something to the back door. But God don't come to no back door, brother. God open up the front door and he let you know what he's doing. Yeah. God have the final say. Yeah. 
God choose you. Yes. You are a chosen generation. Yes. You are a royal priesthood. Yes. You are a holy nation. You are a peculiar people who are called to show forth some praises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is time that we that are chosen begin to be healed. Hallelujah. Begin to be healed. Like you are chosen not by anybody, but you are chosen by God. Hallelujah. And it's time that we begin to walk like we are chosen. You hear me? And it's time that we begin to talk like we are chosen. And it's time we begin to dress like we are chosen. Hallelujah, Jesus is born. If it were left up to people, we will not be chosen. I will not be chosen this morning because of my family attachment. You all hear me? I will not be chosen because where I live, I live in the heights or the terraces. I come along in here to say it's the territory. He's a territory boy. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. I will not be chosen because of what I drive. I will not be chosen because of my workstation and the job I have. I will not be chosen. You can say, man, you will not be chosen by talking about me. I will not be chosen because I don't have no qualification. I don't fit the bill that they're looking for. I may not be chosen, be, will not be chosen because of my shit. I will not be chosen because of my skin color. Come on now. There's so much reasons why human beings will look at each other and will never choose them. Oh, but Jesus. But God. But God. Despite of all what we achieve in this life, we still come up short when we come up to match up with God. There's something that God can put his hand on and say, Brother Selman, you could in every area, like the, the rich man that came to Jesus, good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus announced some things to the man. The man said, but all these things I get, he thought that he passed the mark. Jesus said, what thing? He was a rich man. That you lack. Take all you have and give to the poor. Share some with the poor. He said, the man, we are sorrowful. We hear anything about that man again. What I might say, you will never be a hundred percent fit. Because God can find something that he can disqualify you. But as the old songwriter said, he looked beyond all my faults and saw my need. So this morning, they may disqualify you and you may not be chosen, but I find God, he who has chosen is God. He who will make the chosen part is God. God has chosen you. Praise the name of the Lord. I am glad that I am chosen this morning. Amen. We are a chosen generation. And you know, sometimes we say this generation is something else. But you know, I say it sometimes too. But you know, we are part of the generation. We are part of it. So you either don't add anything or you add something to it. You are part of this generation. So we are a blessed generation. Look, we are blessed to be living today. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm blessed. Amen. I, I've got four scores, four, four generations knowing Jesus Christ. And two that I didn't know him. And God mercy has extended during the time I didn't know him. And now I understand that who I am. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Look, the songwriter said, and I hope I get it good. 
We are a chosen generation called the show for his excellence. All that I require for life, come on now, God has given me. I know who I am. I know who he said I am. I know where I am at. Hallelujah. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in miracle. And I'm living a life of favor. You understand the power that we as chosen believers have? Oh, we have chosen generation. We are called to show forth his excellence. All that I require for life, God has given me. You gotta search yourself and discover what God has given you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Look, we may not be chosen because the embarrassed. They may be three glasses. And I always come from down like this. We have a glass if you want to start from the top. The middle glass and the lower glass. Which is the lower glass. But with God, God went to the ranks when he touched you. And he put you from the gutter and he put you into the uttermost part. He, he, he take you from the dungeon and the darkness, oh Jesus, and he, he give you a lift and he place you to be seated in heavenly places. No, and then he said, Look, you are no more stranger, but you are a son, you are chosen, you are a son, you are not adopted, you are a son, you are a son, and you are a daughter. You gotta know who you are and who, who you belong to. Oh Jesus, I am chosen, I am chosen. Hallelujah. Amen. When you water for the ladies, when they had to go to this universe. <laughs> oh, beautiful ladies. Nice shape and everything. And the country chose somebody. They look for people that will fit the bill. <laughs> and look, when they are being chosen, they have to behave like they are chosen. They cannot disrespect the honor that the country plays on them. And I'm saying to us this morning, God has chosen you and all. Hallelujah. And we should be appreciative of what he has done for us. I am a chosen generation. Say you are chosen. You are chosen. Hallelujah. I, I, I don't know if you ever had the experience when you were left up. And we say, even a cricket, the captain don't want you to prefer somebody else. And you say, they left me out. You weren't chosen, so you got to watch from the outside. But I thank God that I can participate this morning because I am involved in, in God's choosing. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. I, I, I want to link up this choosing and this being chosen. To decision making. In Daniel chapter 3, a very familiar account with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, when the Buchanan made a golden image and set it up. And say, by the time you can hear the clarinet and the flute and the dancema and all kinds of sweet music, he called all the governors and all the counselors together and he made the decree. When you hear the music, Everybody bow down and worship the golden image I have set. If not, you will be cast in the fiery furnace. And they had these three boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They had made their decision despite the decree. They decided not to bow down. And they were cast into the fire furnace, or before that they were brought before the king. Hallelujah, Jesus. Look, their lives now were in danger. Death was present in the furnace. And Shara and Meshach had already decided we are not going to bow down. Making a decision. When the music start, these three boys decide they're not going to bow down. 
Now, you, you know that there were a wheel that the furnace was there. I don't know if they were aware at the time. It, I mean, he, you see, that it will come up seven times hotter. Making decisions in life do not always end up good. You've got to make decisions. You've got to make decisions. Praise God. And I am on the topic, on the, the point down on the wall. The chosen will make decisions. Now, when they made this decision, it would seem that everything unfold. And you know the people now they say, I will see who's that God that will deliver you. And make a decision in life, not that when you make a decision that is was a bad decision, because good decisions can turn out bad as a result of people. Because when you and I make a decision, for instance, me and you go into a business, it is a good decision. We make a good money, but one of the parties get greedy and decide to keep all the money. I remember years ago, I make a decision to make a business with a person, and we bought two cows. I was the person taking care of the cows all the time. I did not see the person very regularly to bring in the cow, to feed the cow. The cow had a calf, so we had three cows. Then it's looking good, but work was happening. I get frustrated and decide to sell the cows. As soon as I sold the cows, the person that I don't used to see too regularly, was present for his half. That was a good decision that turned up bad. So all decisions are not bad decisions, but because of people, they can turn out bad. <laughs> this decision Shadrach and Meshach made was a good decision based on their beliefs and their principles, but it was a bad one to the extent that the fairy furnace and death was in the furnace. But mind you, they knew what they are getting themselves involved in because how they answer the king. We are not careful to answer you in that manner. But this one thing I know, the God we serve, or whom we serve, will deliver us from the fairy first. That's what they said. Because they had make up in their minds and in their, their self that we will not bow down. So they are saying, but head now, if you don't come and deliver us, we will not bow down or worship your golden image or serve your God. Now, now this is the thing about decision. When you make a decision, sometimes you can't reverse it because it's gone already. You can change certain aspects of it. So here is the thing now. When you make a decision, and the best decision anyone can make, or the only decision that you will not 100% guarantee that you will not regret, is the decision to serve Jesus. You decide to marry a beautiful lady, or the lady marry a handsome man. He got everything in stock. She had everything in store, everything. And they're living like two birds in the tree. But things turn out bad. Would you say that was a bad decision? No, it wasn't. It lasted good up to the point. I know we're talking about Jesus. I think I give you 20 years of goodness, my Lord. I will take it again. Mm. If you want to give me 20 years of goodness and happiness, I will take it anytime because some people don't even get a year. Hmm? So it is not really a bad decision, but things turn out. But the only body you can make a decision with, and you are secure in Jesus. Now, I'm not saying to you that making a decision to follow Jesus will not have potholes. 
will not have darkness in their disappointments. Yes, they will happen. You will come through some storms, but in the end, in the end, it will work out. It will work out. Jesus. So you got to stay there. Oh, it's the best decision. You know, you also already said, I have decided to follow Jesus. And that's not easy. No, no one join me. Cause we like company. I stand the father. And then you will say, you take the whole world, but give me Jesus. But you want something like that in the world? And you say, take the whole world and give you Jesus? You have to decide to follow Jesus. And one of us already said, I am determined to hold on to the end. Jesus is with me on him I can depend. I know I have salvation. I feel it in my soul. I am determined to hold on to him. You got to determine. You got to have a determination in this time to serve God. Dear work in danger. Hallelujah. Because of the decision they made. Secondly, the chosen will face danger. <laughs> you know, we think because that we are believers, everything has to work out smooth for us. But I tell you, sometimes Christians are faced with some things because the enemy is out to kill, to steal, and to destroy. So, the chosen will face danger, like these three balls, the danger of the fiery furnace. But I'm saying, as a result of their decision, they were faced with danger. The fire was heated the furnace seven times hotter than before. And if you can imagine by saying that there's a fire left, they take their bath. I got that one time hot, I can turn up the heat. Seven times hot. When those men brought those boys into the fiery furnace and threw them in, it was so hot, the Bible said that those men fell as dead men. The heat killed them. You may be in danger not with a fiery furnace, but to have some elephants, Oh Jesus, and I have some Goliath at your workplace. Matter of fact, I have some fairy furnace at your workplace. And your job may be in danger. You may be in danger of losing your job again, y'all, because of somebody telling somebody something. And you wonder, Lord, I don't want to go through this. But you know, those boys didn't have to go through it, you know. They can say that they bow down too. But they went too. You know why? There are times that you come to go into your fiery furnace. When you go into your fiery furnace, sir, not literally speaking, but, but when you go into your fiery situation, you don't like it. But when you come out, when you come out, you're able to encourage a brother or sister how to deal with fiery situation. The old people used to tell you when they're talking and telling you things and you don't want to say it and so back. They use slogans like these. Shut mouth. Don't catch floods. Put water in your mouth. And you can't really speak when you're not water in your mouth. So what I am saying to you, there are things that you can do. One old lady I remember, she said this person was insulting her, an old Christian lady years ago. And the other person said, but you can answer he back. You can answer she back. You think she or he can get away with that with me? The old lady said, I will not answer back because I am not at that level. I am on a different level. I got to go down to talk to her and to answer her back. But I am on a different level. And that, that is the thinking that we have to adopt in our lives. When these things happen to us, the dangerous situation, right now we are living in dangerous situation. It near COVID-19. 
that we are facing with the pandemic. <laughs> oh, we are faced with it, and we all are scared of something, and we are very protective of ourselves. But we are walking in the midst of it, and we don't know how it's going to work. Everybody didn't even want to answer and everything about how things happen. Everything. So you wake up and trust God. So those guys went into the furnace. They were faced with the danger, destruction in the furnace. But they went up. They think, thank God, when you go in, you may not see him. You may not even feel him. You may not even know he is there because you want to see a visible presence. But be assured this morning, in your fiery furnace, he is with you. I will never leave you. Now for sick. I am your very present help in the time of trouble. You can bank on God that he will be with you. And look, and they look to the spectators of the broken hearts of people that they play their stand up for God. Let me see who God will deliver you. But look, well, they didn't know Jesus went in with them. And here, the people have Have we not cast three men in the fire? The reply was, yes, King. He said, but I now see three, I see four. I not only see them, but he said they are loose. That means the bandage on their hands were broken. Because they threw them in bound. They were loose. In your fiery situation this morning, Jesus will loose you. And by this I mean, you stand in your fiery situation, but there is a joy unspeakable and full of glory within your life. Somebody want to know you are in the midst of the storm and how you can smell it. Because Jesus is in the boat. <laughs> Glory. Jesus was in the fiery furnace with them. Don't ask me what he do. But I know whatever he did, it was well done. He preserved lives. <laughs> I, I, I will say that. Jesus will defend his own. My Lord. When they think that you're going under, Jesus will defend his own because you are chosen. <laughs> Hallelujah. He was right there and he set them free. I want to move on turning to the point where I want to call him. The chosen will be delivered. <laughs> Deliverance we like to get delivered at the big star because we don't like go to it. As we have a problem, Lord, deliver me. We don't pray, Lord, take me to it. We say, deliver me because we like deliverance. But there's some time that deliverance does not come first. You've got to go through some things and come through some things and come out, then you will be able to testify and talk about. And, and that's why David said, some of them said, when thou passest through the water, they shall not overflow you. <laughs> you, you, you know, and said, I went down, walked through, or passed through the shadow of the valley of death. Did this mean that he's not stagnant in there, you know? It's a continual process. He's walking. He's making progress and coming up on the other side. He's not in this stifled up. But when thou passes through the valley of the shadow of death, he said, I'll be with you. I'm saying that the chosen will be delivered. Amen. Deliverance comes in many ways. We know like sometimes how God deliver us, but deliverance at the end is still deliverance. Hallelujah. Why God did not deliver Shadrach and Meshach at first? 
they have to go to. And as a result of their going to, the whole kingdom of the Rukunaza, a different decree was made. Because the, this deliverer showed who God really is. And it was known to all. Nobody shall worship no other God but the God of Shadrach, Misha, and Abednego worship. Deliverance, people know when you are delivered. The man that was born blind, when he got delivered, despite the Pharisees and the Sadducees and the scribes tried to deny him his rights, he said, I don't know, but this one thing I know, the parents said, the man is of age. This one thing I can tell you, I was blind. <laughs> But now, but now we can see, you cannot deny that man that rights. Deliverance have a way of going along and letting everybody know. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I was this morning. Deliverance, the chosen shall be delivered. I don't know what you're faced this morning. I don't know that you think that you are still a slave to sin. I don't know if you think that you are still in bondage and you are nobody. You are nobody because you are a particular family. You are nobody because of your job description. You are nobody because you join a particular car. You are nobody because you live in a particular place. I want you to know that you have to take that thinking and put it out of your mind. The Bible said death and life is in the power of the tongue. And you know people used to say, when they grow up, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words that never hurt me, so can you dig it? That's a big joke. Nobody got hit you with a stone or stone or stick. Now they don't got to look at you, or something like They touch you, they only have to look at you, or you think they look at you. Huh? Praise God, that was this morning. Deliverance. You need to be delivered. And you've got to understand that you are a chosen generation, a peculiar people, a holy nation, a royal priesthood. And the decision making now is so vital in these times. You've got to decide I don't want to live for God. Nobody going to stop me to live for God. This might go every pastor. The Bible in Joshua, Joshua was talking about to the people, and Joshua said, if it seems evil for you to serve the Lord, then it's up to you. So choose this day who you may serve. And he said, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Now, that was a very powerful declaration. It will seem bound up in that. That when the man in the house served the Lord, that he whole household God served the Lord. We know in these days that don't work. Because sometimes you got the husband at church, or the wife home, or the wife vice versa. It don't really work. But it's a powerful declaration. And I wish that we could have made that in these times. That parents or leaders of home will say, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord and their children follow and their relatives follow. May God help us today to understand that we are chosen. We are chosen. We are chosen. Are you glad you are chosen this morning? Amen. I'm glad. I cannot explain it more, but I feel good to know that I am chosen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. My name is written down in the last book of life. Hallelujah. Amen. Nobody can rub it out. I may be able to rub it out myself or erase it by not living right. But once God put it there, as you know, call it back for the daddy, take up in you. It is there. Not even Satan. As a matter of fact, he may open that book and come on. He may give that book. This morning, I am a chosen generation. Call forth to show his excellence. All you and I require for life this morning, 
God has given you me and given you. And you know who you are. You know what God says about you. You know where you are at. You're walking in power. You're living a life of favor. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. When people make choices and they have to choose, they have a lot of choices to make. But I thank God that God made that choice on my behalf and he chose you and all this morning. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God this morning. Friends, it is good to be chosen by God. By God. Look, it is the final sin. God has the final sin. Somebody said, everybody did get here a little quicker. I would not let you choose him or her. <laughs> oh, Jesus. When the devil got there, Jesus has already chosen us. And it cannot be reversed. I am glad I am chosen. What about you this morning? Let us stand this morning. Father, we give you a high word of praise. I want you to believe God as we pray. That we understand that we are chosen. We have not chosen you. Isaiah said, when we have seen you, you have no form or comeliness, and we will not desire you. <laughs> Smitten, afflicted, yet you were abused for our iniquity. We are bruised for transgression. And by your stripes, we are healed. I thank God that my brother is being chosen this morning. My sister is being chosen. My unseen brothers and sisters are chosen by God. But Lord, help them to respond to what you have done by making a decision to give their life to you. Lord, those who is on Facebook watching, I have not yet said yes to the Lord. Those who is on YouTube watching, I have not yet said yes to the Lord. Help them to understand that God has chosen them and they need to respond to what God has done and make a decision to serve God. Father, bless us across our days. Bless us in every parish. Bless every church. Bless every home. Bless every family, Lord God. Continue to provide for us in the name of Jesus Christ. And help us to be faithful. Help us to be determined to hold on and don't let go. Help us not to disappoint you, Lord, because you have defended us so often and so continually. We give you thanks this morning. Can we praise the Lord this morning? Can we praise the Lord? I am a chosen generation. I am called to show forth his excellence and all you require for life. God has given you. You know who you are. You know what God said about you. And you're going to walk out this place this morning different. You're going to go to work different attitude. You're going to go back home among your own safe family with a different attitude. Because you know who you are and you are chosen. Let nobody put you down when God has lifted you up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We thank you this morning for coming this morning. We thank those who join us on Facebook and YouTube. On the behalf of Pastor Robert David Gana, we thank you, my family. We thank you. Hallelujah. He's on holiday. He will not go to shopping. But we thank you. Remember our sister, Anne Marie, continue to pray for her. And those who may not be well this morning, praise the name of the Lord. There's notices in terms of the men and notices in terms of birthdays. Those who had birthdays, God, when you weren't near here, we thank God that you have a blessed birthday. And those who have birthdays coming, enjoy your birthday. Hallelujah, Jesus. We want to, as we dismiss this morning, we thank God that early leaders here. And we thank God for seeing him again. Mark up with us in his way. Praise the name of the Lord. We want to take up this tithes and offering, and you know how we do it here because of the protocols and the restriction. As you leave, you can drop your offering in the basket. 
We're going to say a prayer for the offering, or we're going to say a dismissal prayer this morning in the name of Jesus. I think those, those are all the announcements. You will have a good day. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the offering that will be taken in your name. We pray, God, that you will bless it and bless the spending of it. That will bring souls into the kingdom to call you blessing. We pray for those who have to give and those who have not to give. We pray that you will provide ways and means that they are able to give. Those who are unemployed, we pray, God, that you will open up doors of opportunity for them in the name of Jesus. And you will cause them to be blessed and able to give. Now dismiss us, Lord God, with your choices and blessings. Take us to our homes in peace and safety. Be our watch day and night, and be our strength day and night, as we give you thanks and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you today. Have a great day. Praise the name of the Lord.